real acquaintances. This time it's not Blin, but Blin. <laughs> Friggin' hell. She's really driven me crazy. Zabiesila, your Budilova, who's one of the characters. She gets pregnant, and then she runs straight away to Pif, who's a male character, and straight away she needs him. What's all that about? And that geography teacher, he's a rat. <laughs> so, uh, again, that just gives you a, a, a flavour of the way in which they're, 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 you know, they're, 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 they're entering the mindset and using the shared cultural, uh, 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 the, the shared cultural associations. The action in the serial itself centers on the life of the challenging 9A class, Deviati A, which only the attractive but over-familiar physics teacher can control properly. And it's she who's rehearsing a production of Romeo and Juliet at a school drama club. And any of you who've ever taught in schools will know that the best way of getting on terms with a difficult class is to run something extracurricular. Uh, extracurricular in the, in the strict sense. <laughs> <laughs> Although she does, she does actually, I'm afraid, do a little bit of the other kind of extracurricular. <laughs> with, 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 a, with, a, with another teacher, not, not, not with the pupils. Oh, <laughs> The central character is Anya, uh, the disturbed granddaughter of the history teacher. She's rejected by the other pupils, one of whom disseminates erotic photographs of her. Anya seeks solace in a darkly pessimistic subculture, the emos. Uh, no, no, I'm serious. Uh, and later, no, I'm still serious, she discovers an attraction for orthodox mysticism. Her pursuer the one who distributed the erotic photographs, acquires a camcorder with which he voyeuristically films her. She steals it, but then sinks into depression before, before being sent to a psychiatric hospital where she commits suicide, filming her last words of desperation in, in another example of, of, of um, uh, metatextual reference, self-referencing. Uh, other characters include a promiscuous girl raped on a school trip, and the spoiled son of a new Russian. Then there is Vadim, beaten by his father, but a racist bully at school. He torments Timur, a quiet Muslim boy from Dagestan, seeking an identity amongst skinhead gangs. And he actually shaves his head during the course of the serial. He's encouraged by the fascistic geography teacher who establishes another extracurricular group <laughs> to promote his beliefs in an ethnically pure Russia. And thankfully, he's eventually sacked. <laughs> the suicide shocks the community. And the final episode features an appeal by the acting head teacher. In a sort of Soviet-style moral lecture, she calls for parents to, quote, listen to their children and to be their friends. And if we're lucky, I'll, I'll, I'll show you a, a brief clip of that a, a bit later on. The closing scene consists of a bizarre response to the appeal. The physics teacher, drunk in a karaoke bar with her favourite student, <laughs> bellowing out the words to an optimistic rock number. So that's friendship for you. <laughs> the spirit of subversive ambivalence is confirmed in one of several points of self-referentiality. I've mentioned two. Uh, I hope I don't need to spell this out. The number 69, that of the final episode, has a familiar sexual subtext, which I'm, I'm sure I don't, don't need to... Uh, spell out. Um, perhaps I'll just um, take you, I've got a few screen grabs of, uh, so, uh, let me see. That's the, uh, that's the online um, uh, link. Uh, I was going to show you uh, from live from the web, but I think I'll prefer to rely on, on DVD. That's the physics teacher, or Fizichka as they, as they call them. <laughs> um, that's uh, Anya, the, uh, the heroine, who spends the first part of the serial locked away in her room, writing, uh, presumably on Facebook, um, to uh, trying to find a boyfriend. So, uh, and so the, uh, you know, what she's writing comes up on the screen. Вчера я познакомился с парнем, не знаю, что в нем такое, но я на него запала, реально, но его нельзя назвать красавцем, and so on. And then... Uh, <laughs> Я хочу, хочу тебе признаться, что мы знакомы, ты мне дико нравишься. So it, it's very much sort of 
Could you translate it? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Green bodies. Ah, right. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I want to um, confess to you that we know one another. So he's been sort of, I guess, harassing her uh, online. I really like you. So this is the, this is the pursuer who uh, makes her life hell. Um, and then, uh, typical uh, of, of, of many of the scenes, these are the kids, not even sure whether it's before or after a lesson. They spend much of their time somewhere, you know, in, in a little cubbyhole smoking. Uh, and they smoke cigarettes, they smoke cannabis, um, and they seem to do much, spend much more time doing that than they do uh, going to lessons. Um, and that's the photo that starts the, uh, from where the action really sort of uh, starts. That's Oli Budilova, the girl who's raped on a school trip. A um, couple of kids again. A lot, a, lot, a lot of the action takes place against the background of these graffitied school walls. So it's really destroying the myth of, 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 of how school is imagined to be in the sort of Soviet consciousness, and I'll come back to that. And there she is as a <laughs> emo, Anya, uh, smoking. This is the uh, Muslim boy, Timur. Uh, his mother works in the uh, kitchen, and the racial tension starts when Vadim, the skinhead, accuses his mother of stealing the jobs of people like his own mother and father who can't find work. Uh, and that's Vadim already with his skinhead haircut. Uh, and that's a friend, so-called friend of his. And there they are together with another girl. And there is the group of skinheads, Vadim and the girl to his uh, left is his skinhead girlfriend. Um, uh, doesn't need a title, I don't think. Let's see what's going on there. Um, again, Olya Budilova. And the lessons, there's very, very little learning. It's kids, <laughs> as you can see, chatting, <laughs> texting, making phone calls, misbehaving, back chatting, etc. Uh, and Valeria Dagermanica herself, who is, who is a you know, persona in her own right, and interestingly, there's a lot of autobiographical uh, in, uh, refer references in the book. She, too, like Anya, was homeschooled for the first part of her education. She, too, attempted suicide. Although, obviously, unlike Anya, she, she survived. And she put a lot of her own life into the serial. And there she is again. She's, as you can see, she's quite a colourful uh, uh, personality. So, uh, let's see. Now, I'm going to make a, what might seem a somewhat um, uh, uh, unconnected reference uh, to the much quoted 1934 Pravda headline, the whole country is watching Chapayev. <laughs> because you see, it might have been adapted for Shkola. Like the socialist realist film classic, Guy Germanica's social realist shocker gripped the nation, generating an entire popular mythology. Despite its grim aesthetic, Shkola too is bound up with a vast project whose aim is to unify a fragmented nation, yes in the negative sense, provoking shared outrage at the Kremlin's misplaced patriotic optimism, but also positively, Channel One's nation-binding mission accounts for the serial being released in Year of the Teacher. So it was a deliberate scheduling. Oh, co-scheduling. <coughs> the central trope is that of intergenerational alienation. The theme operates not only on the level of plot, parent against child, teacher against pupil, but also performatively. The dominant reaction amongst older viewers who care to comment was, we don't recognize our children in these monsters. And that is a, that's a quote from a, an online comment. Monsters. These aren't our children. A prevalent response from among younger viewers was, at last, something which tells it just like it is. And then one can add the mutual alienation of genders. Several plot lines revolve around males treating girls as objects of sexual gratification. Then there are class animosities aroused through the image of the BMW owning New Russian. 
And finally, the serial explores both interracial tension and the relationship between popular racism and official...